What's going on everyone? Welcome to episode 5 of the THC Samuel Show. Thank you guys so much. If you guys have watched the first few episodes of the show, also please do me a huge, huge favor right down there. I'm always putting it in the video somewhere. I'm still getting better at video editing, but please, if you're liking the videos, subscribe to the channel. It would really help a lot. Like the video, toss that little thumbs up button. Uh, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite artists and uh, someone who's really kind of like a family member to me. He's basically my big brother, uh, Nathan Myers. Uh, he makes some amazing space glass and I uh, really can't wait to get into it and can't wait to show you guys some pieces. So before I get into some close-ups and kind of explaining everything that's on the, the table here, the uh, work by Nate, I want to get into kind of a little bit more about his background. Uh, I wrote a couple articles about Nate. Actually, he was featured last year in the 2020 glass, uh, glass issue of Leaf Magazine. So if you guys have seen that magazine, check that out. Shout out to Leaf Magazine. So Nate has been blowing glass, uh, I believe, since 2002, so more than 20 years. And uh, he was born in Washington and then kind of moved around a little bit, spent some time in Northern California. And that's really where he kind of started to really develop his glass work more seriously and started really to get it, started to get into the glass scene more seriously, I should say. And uh, Nate was actually a trained uh, graphic designer. He went to college for graphic design. So he was able to kind of use some of those, uh, I guess, skills and some of that just mentality of being a graphic designer and kind of translate some of that into his techie space glass, which I can't wait to show you guys. So it's going to be super cool. I'm going to try to break down uh, different aspects of the pieces, kind of what his Marinis look like, what Marini even is, and uh, really just get into an episode of Let's Talk About Glass. So Nate is one of the best in the world. Uh, now he's a co-founding member of the well-known Everdream Studios, uh, which he works, uh, he, work, he crushes, I should say, with uh, Elbow, Yushin, uh, Adam G, WJC, uh, the whole crew up there, they kill it. Uh, here's one, they won't zoom in probably close enough. I'll show you guys a close up, but here's an example of one of his little space pieces. Um, really excited to show you guys the detail. Again, I collect a lot of his work. Uh, I'm also I also work with him very closely. I'm his photographer and work as his manager. Um, but that all actually came after uh, I started collecting uh, his glasswork. So it's really going to be a fun episode. Can't wait to get into it and show you guys the different aspects of each piece. So when it comes to kind of high-end glass, uh, I like to kind of divide things into two categories. There are some artists that make sculptures and that make unbelievable sculptures. Elbow would be an example of kind of one of my favorite artists who makes sculptures. The dinosaurs and just everything that's kind of, like I said, just an epic sculpture made out of glass. And then there are other artists who focus on marini chips and kind of design and just different things that can be incorporated into the piece that might at first glance seem more simple. Like when I hold this thing up, oh, you guys hear that again? <laughs> Um, when I hold this up, this might seem like a more simple piece when you actually break it down and you look at it up close and you understand how it's made and just the difference. Uh, it's really unbelievable. It's super fun to look at. The space tech kind of definitely takes you uh, fucking out there. Maybe I'll bleep that out. I probably won't. Um, but it's just super, super fun. And uh, let's get into it. So I'm going to do close-ups and zooms on every single piece, but this is the main feature of episode number five. Let's talk about some glass. This is Orbiter number three, created by Nate. Uh, it was made in 2019, and uh, I was just lucky enough to be able to scoop it. Uh, I believe uh, the original price of the sets for the Orbiters uh, were like 7500 I believe, and it comes with like a really dope pelican painted by the homie Beyond Grasp kind of like a full set with a torch and everything. I should have actually brought the torch. Uh, maybe I'll include that in the later clip. Um, but this is Orbiter number three, and it's a crazy mixture of a custom color of a watered down Calypso blue. It's got a layer of steel wool in there, and then it's got Nate's 4.0 space tech. So really, once I show you guys an up close, kind of really full close up of the piece, you'll definitely understand it a little better. It's a little bit hard from that far away. So can't wait to get into it. Let's go. So again, really quick, actually, before I get into the zooms and kind of some of the details of what these pieces look like, I also wanted to show you guys what else I have on the table made by Nate. So like I showed a little bit earlier, uh, this is a Sherlock, a spaced out Sherlock, and this is actually super, super fun. Uh, it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection, and I know I say that every episode, but it's because I really love art, and everything that I decide to get or I have in my collection is something that I really, really love. Um, so this was actually a gift for my 25th birthday a few years ago, and uh, it's kind of got a little signature to me on the back. It's got a Saturn Millie that I will zoom in on, and uh, it's super fun. I had a chance, I had the chance to watch him make it, and then uh, also came with this little jar as well. So we'll do close-ups of everything, and then I've also got 
a little one-y as well with the Invader series, which is one of my favorite Marini chips. Just so much fun. And then we'll also get into some close-ups and an explanation of kind of what Marini chips are. Got a little Murakami chip right here. So let's get into it. So before I show you guys Orbiter number three, I wanted to do a close-up of this dry. I absolutely love it. Here we go. So now you can start seeing the space tech and kind of what some of the basic, uh, not basic, but kind of some of that old school classic space tech looks like. And there is that Saturn uh, opal right there. It's really a beautiful piece. Fits in your hand really well. I absolutely love it. It'll be in my collection forever. So this is the custom jar and the space tech is super, super sick. And again, it's kind of like a little hard to believe it. Like once you're getting like first into the scene, I should say, like that stuff can like that looks like this can actually be made out of glass. But really, the guys that are in the scene at the top, they're pushing the limits. And really, the stuff that they're making is unbelievable. And at this point, really, nothing surprises me. Glass is my favorite art form to collect. So now we have the Invader Marini Wani that I scooped, and it's just. It's sick. I think I bought this for four or five hundred bucks at a show that Nate had at Purple Haze a few years ago. So basically what these each are are individual Marini chips and I'll explain kind of what a Marini chip is in another clip. But Nate takes, well first he takes time to make different style, different color, different everything variety Marini chip and then stacks them into this as a piece of glass piece by piece. So watching something like this or really watching anything at a borosilicate get created is really just like mind blowing and so much fun to watch and it's one of the reasons why I love what I do. So this, I know, if you guys are into glass or just trying to learn, is probably what you guys are waiting to see. The close-up macro of Orbiter number three. Absolutely love this piece. It is so sick. I'm going to go slower and kind of explain each sex section by section, but there you can kind of see some of the crazy space tech. So now we're going to start from the base, or the foot, as a, a lot of times it's called. And then basically uh, it's an orbiter and the process of Nate making these is actually very complicated because and I actually should have double checked with him, but there's a specific uh, term when it comes to technique to be able to split the tube. If you guys notice how the right hand side is a completely different color, that's that watered down Calypso blue. And then you've got that in between section of steel wool and then all the crazy space. And then you can actually see right there is the Nate Signature 2019 Milli. So the piece is really just insane. Let's go all the way up. So now I'm gonna show the front, which has the attachment also known as a banger. And this is a Toro Terp Slurper. It's probably, I think one of maybe 20 maybe a little bit more that we've had custom, that were custom done for Nate with his star and moon, which is super, super sick. And then in the middle right there in that chamber, you see one of Nate's accessory pills that basically rotates as the piece functions if you decide to use it. And then right there in the middle is a guard marble. And then we have the turf slipper marble up top, which is another great example of Nate's work. And actually, there's the signature. I didn't even know it was right there on the marble. So let's get that turned around. There's the classic N8 signature. And then let's spin kind of the rest of the marble. It's really super, super sick. And again, this piece sits on top. So I'll show you guys what the whole thing looks like. 
So again, here's a full pan of the piece, kind of from base with the banger right there with the attachment. Absolutely sick. And then up to the mouthpiece. The piece is beautiful. And again, this is a one of one. And I'm just really grateful to have it in my collection. I love the space glass. It really takes takes your brain somewhere else. Uh, just allows you to kind of get lost in all of that techiness right there. It's fucking wild. Sorry if my hand's a little bit shaky here, but this is a Marini chip. So Nate takes the time and makes each component and then turns them all into this insane chip that's also one piece of glass. And then this chip would get inserted into another larger functional piece. So the layers and the detail are really just fucking crazy. And this is one of my favorite chips. I collect Marini chips by themselves. I collect them when they're a part of pieces. Marini chips are really one of my favorite aspects about glass because it really lets artists kind of just go crazy and kind of be creative. And if you guys notice, that little arrow is pointing to planet Earth. So this chip is basically like the whole universe and then like we're somewhere down there on that little planet Earth. So I'm gonna do one more pan and like one more zoom of the whole piece before I actually show you guys a little bit of how it functions and kind of whoop, whoop, sorry guys, how it functions and uh, what this kind of slurper uh, attachment at the end uh, functions like and uh, just show you guys a little bit more of like the piece in full action. Let's do it. So again guys, this is a quartz banger made by Toro Glass. They're called Terp Slurpers. And here's a little close-up of how it would function. I'm not actually going to scrape material and kind of take a full dab, but I'm going to show you guys kind of what it looks like as it functions. So we just showed like a little macro of kind of what this uh, centerpiece, this uh, top banger piece looks like functioning. And now basically, so if this was fully hot and ready to go and you had your material and you were about to take a dab, basically you would scrape your material material along the bottom and then that's kind of it. You just kind of rage it. It's super fun. So again, here's another little close up. Love the piece. And it's just, it's one of my favorites. So I didn't want to forget, but as mentioned, when you buy like a full Nate set, Sometimes they come, oftentimes they come with these insane pelican cases that are actually painted with, I think, McLaren paint by the homie and artist Beyond Grasp to match the piece. Really, absolutely sick. I, I love them. And then here's a little close-up of the torch as well. Again, the paint is super sick and just an epic set when you combine what everything looks like. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode five of the THC Samuel Show. Uh, this is really probably my favorite episode yet. Uh, we got, a, got to show some extra kind of behind the scenes clips of some glass blowing, got to go into detail of some of Nate's work. And again, please, if you enjoy the video, if you love art, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down there. It would do me a huge favor as I'm trying to grow this channel. And again, uh, cheers, thank you guys for watching. And uh, here's another episode of Let's Talk About Glass. Until the next time, peace.